Yeah, so we had a really dynamic um, symposia at the SOHO meeting. We discussed um, how to take patients both from frontline therapy into the relapse refractory setting with CLL. We discussed uh, the usage of BTK inhibitors, covalent BTK inhibitors in the frontline setting, as well as time-limited therapy with venetoclax and obinutuzumab in the frontline setting, and how to look at patients individually uh, you know, because we do this now, we have longer conversations with patients about their um, their options of therapy, thankfully, because we have these great options. But also, you know, we talk to them about um, what might be good based on their disease characteristics, whether they have a lot of bone marrow involvement versus big and bulky lymph nodes, what might be more suitable for them uh, based on their comorbidities, you know, BTK inhibitors versus time-limited therapy with ven venetoclax and obinutuzumab. And then we discussed other future options. We talked about Oral, oral combinations that are happening um, that are not yet approved here in the U.S., but of course are approved in Europe with Ibrutinib and Venetoclax. So we talked a lot about the rationale of the oral-oral combinations with BTK uh, and BCL2 inhibitor-based combination, mostly, uh, of course, centered around Venetoclax because it's the only BCL2 inhibitor approved. But certainly we have you know newer ones in developed like Sunrotoclax is in development as well. So there might be other BCL2 inhibitors in the near future. So we talked about oral 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 combinations and even not just oral oral but triplet combinations of btk a bcl2 inhibitor plus or minus a monoclonal antibody and we talked about the rationale of those therapies in the relapse refractory setting uh, and picking you know and still sort of we need to figure out how to pick those best individuals for those therapies and then even some few future drugs that are on in development uh looking at um uh, bispecific monoclonal antibodies of course that are not yet approved in cll and clinical trials running in that space um btk degraders so another oral therapy that um uh sort of um uh, targets BTK in a different way than covalent and non-covalent uh, BTK inhibitors do. So those are in clinical development. And then most recently, at least in the U.S., we had CAR, our first approval with CAR T-cell in the United States. So we briefly talked about some of the future directions in the multiply relapse refractory setting, uh, knowing that patients uh, who are young might see more than one therapy during their lifetime. They might not just be getting a BTK inhibitor or venetoclax-based combination, but might need uh, other alternative treatments because we know that patients who have progress through both BTK inhibitors um, and uh, a BCL2-based combination, you know, really are going to need alternative therapy. So we're always looking for newer combinations or new therapies in that space. Um, and very important to enroll your patients on clinical trials. Uh, but we talked about some of these new interesting um, mechanisms, uh, targeted therapies uh, that are being evaluated, uh, as I noted, such as BTK degraders and bispecific. So we look forward to more data with those trials. So we talked a little bit, that was mostly a, a quick summary of the symposium that we held uh, with Dr. Allen and Dr. Weir, a very exciting uh, symposium in CLL education.